Dear students, uh, this is our 13th lecture on bioorganic chemistry and continuing with mechanism of enzyme action uh, in this lecture uh, we will see the action of uh, carboxypeptidase A enzyme. Uh, the carboxypeptidase A enzyme is a metalloenzyme which uh, acts uh, on the hydrolysis of uh, various polypeptide bonds uh, in presence of zinc 2 plus ions which act as uh, cofactor for this type of hydrolytic cleavage of the peptide bonds. So these types of peptide bonds they are hydrolyzed uh, to give us uh, these types of carboxylic acids and amino acids as the product and enzyme used is carboxypeptidase A and cofactor is zinc 2 plus ions. So here what happens is uh, that uh, zinc 2 plus ion is uh, located in the groove near the surface of the enzyme and uh, this is held in its uh, position uh, through coordination with uh, a molecule of uh, water then uh, this uh, histidine uh, 69 histidine uh, 196 and glutamic acid 72 so all these uh, active sites of the uh, present on the enzyme they keep this zinc 2 plus ion uh, at this position in addition to a molecule of water and uh, this zinc 2 plus ion uh, increases uh, the reactivity of this bound water uh, as uh, this uh, will act as an electrophile and this can abstract this uh, proton and this water can act as a better nucleophile to interact with the substrate present uh, uh, for the hydrolysis uh, in the uh, enzyme. Uh, in the presence uh, of zinc 2 plus ion as I have told you water behaves much like hydroxide ions. So then uh, these uh, arginine 145 this will form uh, two hydrogen bonds uh, with the C terminal carboxyl group of the substrate uh, whereas this uh, tyrosine 128 uh, this is also involved in for, uh, a hydrogen bonding with the substrate. Uh, similarly, uh, this uh, non-polar part of the molecule substrate uh, is present in the hydrophobic uh, pocket, uh, pocket of the enzyme which is uh, a non-polar in nature and this is how a stable enzyme substrate complex is formed uh, between the enzyme and the substrate and uh, uh, the reactions which are involved in the hydrolysis uh, by carboxypeptidase A uh, they are generally general acid base uh, mechanism uh, glutamic acid and R uh, glutamic acid 270 uh, will act as a general base along with arginine 127 and zinc 2 plus ion will act as a cofactor in this case. So here the mechanism of the reaction is like this that in the first step of the reaction positioning of the phenyl group of the substrate in the hydrophobic pocket uh, of the uh, hydrophobic pocket of the enzyme will take place and then uh, binding of the C terminal uh, carboxylic acid will take place with arginine 145 uh, through the electrostatic interaction uh, as well as through hydrogen bonding. Then third is tyrosine will also have a hydrogen bonding with the uh, C terminal carboxylic group of the molecule. Then this uh, glutamic 279 will abstract this proton and this will act as a nucleophile to attack this carbon of the carbonyl of the substrate and uh, uh, negative charge on this oxygen will be neutralized due to the presence of this cofactor zinc 2 plus ions in the first step. So this is uh, the uh, uh, position of the substrate and the enzyme in the first step to form a stable enzyme substrate complex. Then uh, in the next step uh, the binding of the substrate is made further uh, stronger by hydrogen bonding with the 
Tara scene 128 as I have already told you then uh, zinc 2 plus ion also partially complexes with uh, uh, amidic uh, uh, carbonyl uh, to further uh, uh, strengthen the enzyme substrate complex and this will act as a general base uh, and uh, this proton will be withdrawn by the substrate uh, in an acidic manner and uh, uh, then uh, this uh, negatively charged oxygen will become carbon oxygen double bond and this carbon nitrogen bond will break this H will be abstracted uh, by this nitrogen in the second step. In the next step uh, the negatively charged tetrahedral intermediate which has been formed this is the negatively charged uh, tetrahedral uh, intermediate and this is uh, stabilized by zinc 2 plus ion uh, as well as uh, the arginine and this will collapse uh, with uh, glutamic 270 uh, acting as a general acid catalyst. So uh, this uh, amino group uh, will get separated and carboxylic acid group will get separated and this uh, uh, protein with one less amino acid residue is removed from the uh, enzymatic pocket. And then in the last step uh, the unfavorable electrostatic interaction between uh, the negatively charged uh, carbonyl uh, group of the residual peptide product this is the residual peptide product this is having negative charge then negative charge is also present on the glutamic acid residue and because of uh, the negative charge on both of these uh, this will help in the exit of the product from the active site of the enzyme. So this is the active site of the enzyme so product will get removed from the active site of the enzyme because of the negative charge on both of these uh, products. Thank you very much.